Shalom, royal family. The class you are about to hear is taught by the Honorable Yudhe Wafe, Beit Nun Sophie Yudhe Wafe, many years ago. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Visit us at www.yahweh144000.com. Also, royal family, you can enroll in classes designed for the Godhead at www.universityofyahweh.org. Enjoy. So tonight, we want to return to Psalm 68, 4. We continue to sing praises. We're going to continue to sing unto Yahweh and sing praises to his name. There is nothing like reflecting on the name Yahweh. Now let's look at reflect. I'm the only one that lives who can teach you the mysteries of the name Yahweh. I'm the only living being that can teach you the mystery, the intimate mystery of the name Yahweh. Solomon was famous concerning the name of Yahweh. But a greater than Solomon is here. Reflect. Reflect. To cast back light, heat, sound, etc. All right, now, to cast back. When I teach you mysteries of the name Yahweh, I expect to hear it back from you. I expect to see you as a reflection of what I teach regarding the name. And whenever I bless you with my presence, I look to see if you are my reflection. My joy is to hear you reflect what you've learned about my name. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. So when you learn of me, you learn of my name, and I am my name, and my name is me. My name distinguishes me from all there is, yet I made all there is. So I, I expect you to reflect it back cast it back to me. That requires you to do 2 Timothy 2.15. I pray that none of you gave up studying A, B, or C, so that you can get down to T. <laughs> it is not about receiving my knowledge and let it go. In order to reflect it back, it must remain inside your head and it has a special effect when you retain the knowledge of my name. You begin to take on my attributes when you retain the knowledge of my name, the name Yahweh. The name Yahweh is able to cause you to transform from an old man into a new man. How many of you would like to transform from an old man to a brand new man? The knowledge of the name enables that to happen. And I know what's taking place with inside you when I hear or see you reflect back to me what I'm teaching you about the name. Sing is doing, that's what singing to Yahweh is all about. To sing is to reflect back. It's not to sing, it's not to repeat a praise without understanding. Above all, get an understanding. We 
We are greater than a bird. A bird can repeat words, but without understanding. My job is to encourage you to become a new man, a new mind. It's not about saying things about the name, it's actually talking, expressing knowledge of the name. You don't get points by saying, that's heavy. Awesome. That's incredible. Yes, it's heavy, but can you carry it? In your mind and reflect it back. Reflect. That's what singing is about. We are to sing unto Yahweh. Reflect back to Yahweh. That means that you are in a position to become God. And all of you that receive me will become God. It is up to you. And it is a joy when you find out the secret mysteries and understanding of the word. It becomes rejoicing to your soul. Yes. Reflect. To give back or show. Hold it. To give back to Yahweh. Singing unto Yahweh is giving back to Yahweh. Something that he wants back. There's a certain sound he wants back. There's a, a certain amusement that is enjoyed by Yahweh when you give back to him. There's a rejoicing and a joy when you give back. Giving back to Yahweh is the secret of life and happiness in life. What's the proof? This world teaches you to not give back. The enemy of Yahweh teaches you to keep all you can get hold to for yourself. What's the result? Unhappiness, trouble, confusion. Yahweh gives to you first when he created the support system that was needed for you. When I created it, I'm the creator of it all. I did it. I came and prepared the earth for you to come and be on it. And I created all the support systems that you needed to breathe, to eat, to drink water, and to live. You could never repay me for that. And I give you fruit with seeds in it. And I will bless you eternally when you give those seeds back to me. In the manner that I intend for them to be given back. When you keep a minimum of 10% of the seeds and give them back and plant them in there and say, these are yours, Yahweh. Then I bless those and make them a hundredfold of the increase. I give you rain in due season. And I reduce the enemy to the plant to a minimum. And I bless your increase. And I bless your coming in and your going out. Simply because you give back. 
In order to continue living, that's the law. You must give some of the seed back to Yahweh. Our enemy brought us to the city, put us in a ghetto, and destroyed the knowledge of seed from us. Their power, what they mean, what you should do with them, and why, and to whom they belong. And instead of looking to Yahweh for our blessing, we look to the grocery store. Instead of looking to Yahweh for our food and the increase of our food, we look to the food broker. Instead of looking to Yahweh for our clothing, we look to our oppressor. And we are poor for our doing it. It makes us poor to buy what we need from our enemy, which gives him power over us, gives him power to continue oppressing us. I have come among you and I'm demonstrating to you, starting with nothing, to move us up to this point, to prove that when we look to Yahweh to supply our needs, he does so abundantly and he blesses us to rise high above all the nations. Eastern Airlines is, is having to fire 4,000 employees. Now, as I talk to you, 4,000 Eastern employees are being laid off. And while they're being laid off, I'm ready to receive 4,000 to come and work for Yahweh. But maybe they'll have to find out later on Yahweh is the only one capable of Employing us. Where are those 4,000 going? There are not more jobs available. Somebody is going to lose their job who's working now to make room for these 4,000 white folks. I have a suspicion who it's going to be. I know what history shows me. I know history shows me who is last high and first fire. I think even you know now who that is. Times are going to be very difficult. Jacob's trouble is in your face. After a while, there won't be anybody working to buy crack. <laughs> crack sales have so saturated the market that I, I was told today or yesterday that children can get a hit for a dollar. You know, it started off at $10. Then it dropped to $5. And I heard they'll give a kid a little tiny, teeny bit of rock and he can get him a good hit for a dollar. The move is on to destroy our community totally. And you can look at the community and tell what crack does to the mind. It completely destroys sensibility, respectability, cleanliness, it's totally destroyed. Cleanliness is completely destroyed. Reflect. Reflect. To give back or show an image of. Sh oh, Lord Yahweh. Sing unto Yahweh means you must show an image of Yahweh. I just shared with you is the opposite. That's the image of the devil. 
Look at how different we've become to show forth an image of Yahweh. Give back to him the knowledge that he gives to you. And show forth the image of Yahweh. Is that simply in wearing white? No, sir. No. Some of you I heard, you seem to know what it is. What is it? Action. Character. Reputation. The behavior. Behavior. Conduct. Chastity. Virtue. Honorableness. Honesty. Truthfulness. Intelligence. Intellect. Be rectitudinal. Right. Walk with integrity. Upright. In your thoughts. Be able to stand on the square of righteousness. Establish the kingdom of Yahweh. Become a creator of good. Work in accord with the creation instead of against it. Do that which will clean the air rather than pollute it. Be the image of Yahweh so that your children will not have a thought of anything but good. So that when your children grow up, they will say, you reflected the image of Yahweh. You were a reflection of the image of Yahweh. All I ever saw in my parents do is give back to Yahweh that which he gave to them. That's what I saw. They made joyful sound to Yahweh. They made a glad noise to Yahweh. They entered into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. And they had his name uh, come out of their mouth as if something before their eyes. That's what I saw my parents. They sat me down and they talked about the laws of Yahweh. And they told me to teach my sons and my sons' sons these laws. This is what my parents reflected to me. I got this reflection from them of the image of Yahweh. No one ever told me that sin meant that. Why I thought sin was to stand up and boom 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 Did you not think singing was what the choir did? The soloist? The duet? The trio? The quartet? The ensemble? Come on! Yes, we thought that's all that thing was. Sing crazy. Some of you said, I can't sing. <laughs> See? <laughs> This scripture didn't say, you who have power, see? <laughs> ah, we get up on something, didn't we? We were taught by the enemy to think sing was vocalization of a musical note. What a shock tonight to discover sin means to reflect the image of God. Give back to God. To study the character of Yahweh and reflect that character is sin. When our students in Yahweh University get through learning this type of knowledge that I'm sharing tonight, 
in conjunction with all of the definitions you learn in music. By the time I allow you to pick up physical instruments, you will be frightening to the world. I mean, can you imagine uh, our children and why you can define crescendo? Not just say the word crescendo, but define crescendo. And when they're able to define crescendo, they can recognize a crescendo when they hear it. The moment they hear it, they say, that is a crescendo. And then they learn staccato. And they're able to define staccato. And when they hear any musician play a staccato, they will be able to say, that is a staccato. And then they, you give them an instrument and say, demonstrate a crescendo as distinguished from a staccato. And they'll sit there or stand there and do it. We'll be able to give that example on their instrument of choice. And then they study the word apagio. And then you ask them to distinguish and explain the difference between apagio, crescendo, and staccato. And they'll be able to do it! That's called giving back. The right expression. Mm -hmm. Because each one denotes a different and distinct expression that you have learned about me. Mm -hmm. And you master the technique of the instrument so that you will be able to give back to me and reflect to me, huh? What I like. <laughs> I'm proving that what I am teaching is not limited to whatever you try to limit it to. It not only applies to the musical sphere, it applies to everything that, I, that you can think of, the class I'm giving you now. The average person that walks into this building and hears me teach you as I am teaching you, they are listening to fire. Perhaps many of you are Mr. Fat. <laughs> Maybe most of you are Mr. Fat. But you that follow me seriously will have a dictionary in your hand tonight and tomorrow and the rest of the week until I come back and continue this class. And uh, you will look forward to me coming to be in your presence so that you can give back to me what you've learned uh, from what I've given you tonight. And I can say, well done, my good and faithful servant. That's, I love you to reflect back to me what I am teaching. For it tells me I'm not wasting my time. What does it say? It says that you who choose to follow me must have a mind set on high. A low-minded person who loves mud cannot enjoy me teaching like I am. But 
but I'm not concerned about that. I know that there's 144,000 that are waiting to hear what I'm teaching. And I thank Yahweh for each of you that desire to be a part of that 144,000. And you can't be a part not studying. Sometimes I set conditions up just to see where you set. When you get some time where you study, do you take any time to study? Because if you don't study, you die. So you can only live by every word that proceeds and comes forth from my mouth. My words that come from my mouth are life to you. It is a blessing to be able to be present and feed on the words that come forth from my mouth. It's one thing to be around, it's another to study and learn of me. Royal family and friends. Thank you for listening. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, please visit us at www.yahweh144000.com. And also, you can enroll in the University of Yahweh by visiting us at www.universityofyahweh.org. Royal family and friends, have a glorious day in Yud Hey Wav Hey. Shalom, Royal family.